San Marcos Mountain. Cloudy day, partly cloudy. And, uh, well, let's get cracking. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. All right, right behind me, San Marcos Mountain and um, San Marcos High Point. I don't know. But uh, that's where we're going to the right of that gigantic tower up there. So, might be able to see the flag on the mountain. Just barely waving. So, let's head up there. Looking at that uh, fairly large home on the top of the little mountain there. He has a massive tower off the back. Looks like a couple of Yaggies. So I'm gonna guess ham operator. Possible it's just TV, but I highly doubt it. Uh, it's quite an investment. So anyway, turns right up here. Um, you can see. It connects in with this road that goes up to the, uh, the American Tower installation up there. We're gonna stay away from that. I'm sure we'll get a little bit of QRM, but uh, we're gonna head down this guy and then break left and uh, go up these switchbacks. There's some guys up on uh, some mountain bikes. Probably the most people I've seen up here in a while. Last time I've been up here, I didn't see a soul. All right, as you can see. Um, I don't know why there's no Strava. Um, I guess that's because they're afraid to get too popular. And they're probably right. This is still pretty well unknown, except for us geeks. Got some trail etiquette here, but uh, some nice public use. It looks like a decent little mountain bike trail too. So, anywho, off we go. Switch back to this little trail. Perfect for mountain biking. Nothing but a few people out here, little kids went by out here goofing around with his friends. Probably his backyard, if you will, for this little rural area. Nothing but birds and just a couple of people. Shame on me. For not getting up here earlier. I'll blame some of that on the wine I had last night. Decided to sleep in a little bit because the sun's coming out but it is gorgeous. Light breeze from the west. Not sure if you can see the flag waving full mast up there. So we're gonna uh, you know it's uphill. I don't know what the elevation gain is. I'll post it right here. But, um, yeah, this last little uh, shoot up, yeah, pretty steep. We'll take our time and uh, then we'll send some cool waves into the atmosphere. Wow, they really have those roofs covered with uh, solar over those tanks. I'm guessing that big round circle down there with grass over it is another giant tank. So, yeah, good on them. Beautiful view out to the east, partly cloudy, hazy with the moisture sitting back there in the valley. Swing around here looking to the west. And you can see the Del Mar Cove and the uh, power station there up at Del Mar. That's about it. So, let's get cracking. All right. Pretty, this is the one section that's probably the steepest. Makes it the most difficult, um, especially if you're packing stuff. So expect a little bit of crawling up here. And uh, other than that, it's all good. So let's get cracking. It's a nice picture, flag waving. Once we're through that one little area, then it's just a little trail like this. Pretty much a direct route. So, and we're gonna head up this thing 
and uh, shoot, we might even be in the activation zone. Okay, what you're looking at is um, a new feature um, by the guy who did uh, Soto Goat for the iPhone. Pretty cool. I'm at 1,600 feet, more or less, and uh, I got 144 feet to go, but I'm, it says I'm within the activation zone, um, probably because the elevation remaining is only 46 feet. But uh, we're going to go up to the top and activate um, this really cool feature. Let's see what's the next one. This is a brand new, uh, brand new feature, by the way. So um, really love the improvements he's made. I'm definitely going to send him an email. So uh, thanks, Soda Go guy. I can't remember the, the uh, guy that did this, but uh, dude, you rock. Okay, we're set up. I'm tucked into my operating position here. Pretty comfortable. CQ, CQ, CQ. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ. Whiskey Zero Mike, November Alpha. Gary, I got you 5 9. Good, uh, good afternoon. Roger, Roger. Thanks, Gary, for the activation. N1 CLC. CQ, CQ, CQ. November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie calling CQ, CQ, CQ for any station anywhere. Okay, I got a Kilo Charlie 6 Alpha Romeo Yankee uh, QSL. Okay, okay. QSL, QSL, I got you 5555555, five, 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 over. Alrighty, uh, thank you very much. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie for Summits on the Air. All right, uh, November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie, going to QSY to uh, CW. Uh, Charlie Lima, Charlie, 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 weird day up here. Wind came up a little bit harder and chilled me down so uh, put a fleece on. Then I didn't realize there was another way up here so there were people coming up right where I was coming right through where I kind of set up the operating position. Um, I felt bad about that but they didn't mind going around. Um, and also I had stations trying to call me and right in the middle of them giving me their call sign somebody would tune up right on frequency. That happened a few times. Um, I had people coming up on my frequency, camping out, and calling CQ. That wasn't cool, uh, so moved on that one. Let's see, what else? It was just weird up here. Dropping stuff, chair falling over. Um, 
there are some choice words said. <laughs> it was just weird. It was not a relaxing activation. So, anyway, I'm going to go down a different way, see what this is like. Behind me is a massive tower. Um, looks like they got a bunch of microwave over there, so. Um, I didn't seem to have too much QRM over here. I wasn't like, you know, sitting on Black Mountain. Looks like a lot of uh, VHF, UHF possibly up there. And, um, yeah, just looks like some cell at the top. Anyway, great views from up here. Hazy, uh, just with a marine layer in here. Um, partly cloudy skies, and then, you know, kind of comes in and out. So, really nice. So I'm going to head on down. Let's uh, try this other direction out. All right, kind of winding down the back side of this mountain. I came up from the other side. It's actually enough room up there for uh, two operators to set up because there's kind of kind of a little bit of a plateau sticks out. Anyway, yeah, if a couple guys come up here, they definitely uh, set up two stations. So, be interesting to see where this thing goes. Pretty much single track. I don't see any uh, tire tracks on this, so it looks like it's uh, mainly foot traffic, which might actually be better than the other side. Um, so, where you don't get tangled up with the mountain bikers. This is kind of cool and unexpected. A little, nice little cover here. A little, uh, rigged up bridge pretty solid that's cool and it's pretty in here too there you go so in essence and you can take a look at the track that i'll post a link uh i'll post a link to the blog uh hamninja.com and but take a look at it so i went up uh the right side so here's the mountain so i went around uh up to that saddle just about and then up to the peak um, I came down on the I guess northwest facing side um, so you can do a little loop here uh, I've never done it so I thought it'd be fun to try I passed one fellow on the way and he said yeah I just cruise down hang a left when you see the trail go left and it was a it was a very nice trail so 